Well, the key will be the, the, the simply said, the climbing legs. How far the condition goes, how far they can climb, and how good the competition is. How hard the battle will be. Uh, it's uh, it's honest cycling. I mean, you have the legs or you don't have the legs, and you're in or you're out. So let's hope. Uh, but I'm also confident he can uh, he can maintain his position in GC. The Tour heads to the Alps on Stage 8 with the first Category 1 climbs of this year's race. The Côte de mont saxonne the Col de Rome and the Col de la Colombière before a downhill sweep into Le Grand Bonhomme. This is the attack of last year's winner of the Tour de France, Tadi Pogacar. Formula has set it up. Alaphilippe is not able to respond to the attack of Tadi Pogacar. Go, boys! Oh, what a day. What a beautiful day, eh? Oh. It's really nice in the mountains. I like it. Super happy to yesterday stage. I try to catch a good results. Maybe I can did a bit better, but uh, it was a super hard day. And uh, we we try tomorrow uh, today, and uh, we see what's happen. Four and a half thousand metres of climbing squeezed into 145 kilometres with the Col de Cézy, the Col de Pré and the Corme de Roseland before a summit finish to team. Tadej Pogacar was happy to sit back and defend his yellow jersey after his sensational performance yesterday. UAE Team Emirates letting a big breakaway go shortly before the intermediate sprints. A group of around 40 riders now off the front and already thinking about a prestigious stage win. While Pauls was in there, the Dutchman attacking on the Col de Cézy. And so onto the longest climb of this year's race, the 21 km haul up to Teen, which would have featured on the Tour in 2019, but for some untimely mudslides. We hit the base of the Monte de Teen. Quintana's totally cracked. Ben O'Connor is going to win in teen. Catanio just keeping the pedals turning over into the race finish. A second place on the day for Matteo Catanio of the Coining Quick Step. Uh, another super hard day after yesterday, but I'm super happy to these results and uh, I did my best. And okay, the second is not first, but I'm super happy for this. the face of Cavendish. That's a painful look, but he has made it and he's held on to the green jersey by 1 minute 29 seconds. Cavendish went deep to make the time cut and stay in green. It's been one brutal first week and the fun continues after the rest of Well, oh, just to have them guys with me. Just, they could have been easy. 
in another group, they stay with me, they just pace me, the support they gave me. Like, oh. Oh, I'm all emotional, man. Really. Oh. More than more than in the sprints, it's today that I'm lucky I have such a team like this, like really. Like I'm just humbled by it. <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we get times the whole day from uh, our staff on the road, uh, from the car. Uh, we always calculating how far we're behind the front, uh, what is the time limit gonna be. Um, and we knew the whole day we was just like maybe a, a step behind. So we was the whole day trying to catch up just a minute. And uh, with, the, with the rainy weather today, it made it even more difficult for us because normally we can catch up some time on descents, but with red descents, we can't go much faster than the guys go in the front. So, yeah, we had to really push it on the climbs. And um, yeah, I feel we had the, the knife on the throat the whole day. Um, and it was such a relief. Uh, it's actually not many times I've been uh, so emotional finishing a stage like I was today. <laughs>